Alrighty, my lovely Trails fans, welcome back to our next episode of Trails in the Sky. Alrighty, so I've gone ahead and rearranged everything on people. Um, so, Estelle is pretty much going to be... Um, oh, sorry, just double checking what her armor and stuff does right now. Okay, so Estelle and Joshua are going to be physical attackers. Um, so here's the set up. You don't need the ZFGs anymore. Um, Chloe is going to be our main healer with Olivier as our main uh, DPS with magical attacks. Um, so I did some playing around uh, for them. This seems to be the best setup to give them um, for art speed um, and obviously strength and defense for these two. Uh, Estelle, this is my setup for her. And Joshua, Chloe, and Olivier. Obviously, as we get further along, we'll be able to uh, give them some better gems, like the um, Ruby gem. We'll be getting level 3 gems later on. Um, for Estelle, um, if you've got all of the gems uh, that I told you to get a couple of episodes to get, all of the Septium, um, then you can probably switch out the Strike for Cloak. Um, I'm gonna try and do as many additional fights as I can so I can get more of the uh, the golden septium. So I can hopefully get everything upgraded that I need upgraded. Um, so let's go ahead and just do a quick heal up here. Because uh, upgrading people's slots has uh, given them a lot more EP than they started off with. Which is good, everyone's about 400 range for our casters. Apparently they're going to build a workers only passage outside. I'm looking around to see if there are any appropriate materials for its construction. Hmm, maybe I could break down a container for metal plates. I'm looking around to see if there are any appropriate materials to use. Oh yeah, I can just leave. Don't have to go through that little hatch. Nice if I could get up there and speak to Zim. Looks like there's no trouble with this fin. It endured the shock of the landing well. That's good, since it means we don't have to spend time repairing it. Okay, next comes checking the outrigger. Oh, the outriggers? Those are the pods you see on the sides of the hull. They have various supplementary flight engines and whatnot in them. Okay, so park block Calmer. That's probably where we will be heading. Let's uh, have a quick mosey around here though, see if there's any chests or anything. Okay, so that's basically a bridge that goes over there. Nowhere around here to fish? That's a shame. wonder if there'd even be any fish around here. Okay, just a lot of destruction and debris. We're going to put a bridge to the deck here. First though, we need to clear away the scrap. If any of you have a moment to help out, we could surely use a few more hands. Doing this on my own is going to be a bit difficult, even with my training. But we're going to be moving that now, by ourselves. Uh, the captain sure has a lot of faith in us, I guess. Friggin' kinda big for a piece of scrap. Asking us to move this with our bare hands, even slave drivers ought to have limits. Uh, now that I look at it, this thing really is big. We're going to have to put some elbow grease into moving it at all. You're... you're telling me we're moving this by hand? Am I the only one who thinks this is nuts? I think if anyone can do it, it's probably, uh... Uh... No. I, I don't need to look at your name. I can remember your name. Zin... And... I give up. A gate. How could I forget his name? Water here looks very clear. Oh, nice little waterfall. Park Block Calmer. It's beautiful. Ah, I have searched for beauty and now I find it. I'm not even sure how to put this. It's sort of hard to believe we're in the sky, you know? The ancient Sumerian culture was more than just its technology. 
it seems they had a great understanding of how to use their technology too. For sure. Alright, so what's this thing? Oh, that's sending me somewhere. West Calmer Station. Nice view. Reminds me of the Tetris Cyclic Towers. How amazing! Oh, what an overwhelming view. The city's this big? Hey, we're sure no one still lives here, right? I don't think so. I have to imagine everyone left before the city was sent to the other dimension. In fact, I imagine the ancestors of modern Liberlians came from this place. Wait, so like my great great whatevers lived here? And we never knew? That actually makes some sense. There have always been so few traces of old Zemeria, not just in Lobel, but anywhere, if the city just disappeared. Ah, of course. Those who live in the sky would not leave traces upon the ground, and then their home in the clouds is removed from this mortal coil. This place seems to get crazy with every step we take. Anyway, the view here is really pretty, but what is this place, you think? It feels different from the rest of the area. Given the nature of this area so far, it may just be a scenic view, but it does feel a bit more important. Hmm. That screen over there looks like something you're meant to interact with. Let's take a look at it. I don't seem to bring up a map in this area, so maybe it's just small enough you don't really need one. Whoa. Well, right off the edge here, but look at that view! It's amazing! Oh, hello. Platform this way, West Calmer Station. Halo Rail, West Calmer Station. The Halo Rail system is currently operating at limited capacity. We apologise for the inconvenience. Please select a service from this terminal. Gospel based citizen ID checks are not required for service at this time. Hmm. What's a Halo Rail system? Some kind of rail-based transit system, I guess. And given that there's a transit authority involved, I would guess this floating island is called the Liber Arc. Oh yeah, the Liber Arc. Hang on, Liber. No way. Way, I think. We've just discovered the origin of the name of Liber. Holy Stragers. Personally, I find the gospel reference more interesting. From the way this is written, they must have been ubiquitous. Everyone would have had one. It sounds like they served as identification and a portable personal link to the the Oriole. You're right, this is too much to take in at once. Anyway, it looks like we don't need a gospel to do stuff here. Let's see what we can do. Right, I think I can get it to list available services if I push this. Oh, hello. District information. See service gate lock release online shop. Built as the ultimate in rest and relaxation for the citizens of the Ark, the Kalmar District in Liber Ark's premier park and recreation district located in the west of the city. Each section of the park, designed around the theme of harmony between progress and nature, is a hexagon exactly 300 arg across. Kalmar as a whole is made up of dozens of dozens of these hexagons. Kalmar District has four Halo Rail stations, north, south, east, west. Each station's tour path routes through different sections of Kalmar, allowing one to enjoy vistas of all the seasons and wildlife Kalmar has to offer. Halo Rail service is currently limited. Would you like to activate emergency operation mode for West Kalmar Station? Sure. Sweet. I guess I can walk on that. Hey, what? There's something coming. Whoa, it's like a tram. What in the world? This must be a car for the Halo Rail. You, um, have to wonder how it works without... Well, it's very similar to the light rail systems used throughout Erebonia, as I thought. Ah, to make the rails out of actual light, the ancients knew the value of spectacle and humour. It all feels a little over my head, but if it'll get us to where we need to go without dropping us into the clouds, 
I'm all for it. Come on, let's hop on and try it. I am not done reading through this. Online shop. Okay, so we can unlock our slots. Uh, we can get more sapphire and ruby gems if we need them. Can't trade. In the event of service disruption of the Halo Rail, a gate may be unlocked at each station, leading to substratum access passages in accordance with emergency protocols. This station's gate can be unlocked. Would you like to do so at this time? Okay, so that's unlocked now. Locks and gates in station vicinity have been removed. Tunnel is now usable. So, where does this take me? Currently no other stations are operating in emergency operation mode. We are sorry, but the Halo Rail service is not currently available. Real informative. Thanks, creepy disembodied voice. It sounds like the other stations need to be this emergency operations mode if we intend to get around. But now, I'm afraid the Halo Rail isn't of much use to us. Nuts, and here I was getting hopeful for once. Well, let's see if we can find another way around. Well, alright then, so I guess that's probably like a shortcut to some other areas, so we go down and check out what that little room thing was down there. map in here. We do have some enemies we can fight. Ooh, those things look really creepy. Dark lamp. Ooh. I don't like them. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, like, these guys are really no point in having them do anything. Oh, that would explain it. Uh, they are in some serious need of leveling, so I'm going to make sure I definitely level them as well. Uh, learn Happy Trigger. Nice. Okay, just a great big long tunnel. Okay, now it kind of splits off in two directions. Kind of door here. The door is tightly locked. Emergency evacuation route, Calmer to the Axis Pillar. Automatically unlocked should any disruption occur in the supply of orbital energy from the Axis Pillar. Be advised, any obstructions in the vicinity of this gate that might interfere with evacuation is a crime. I guess we go this way instead then. Chloe learned Sanctus Nova. Oh, yeah, let's set that as a new S break. He might be uh, a little under level, but uh, he's definitely doing some decent damage. get him caught up real quick. Oof. Our first chest, monsters appeared. Well that's just cheating. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, let's see how many I can hit with this. Aerial. Oh, they're gonna end up moving, aren't they? Oh, survived by the skin of its teeth, literally. Dominion. This space for rent. Oh, well, we've got our first weapon. Unfortunately, it's for Kevin. Silver gem. Is this your way of asking me out on a date? So, silver gem. So, so what? what is that? Is that like a hit? Silver gem. Uh, EP plus fifteen percent. So that's not like a hit. Is that like a what? Are, what other things are silver? It's like an EP five then. Okay. Very good. Is this way of asking me out on a date? Sorry, I've already read that one. Um. So we check this area first. Okay, yeah, better go for a... Still gonna attack later than I'd like. Oops. Uh, which one's the one that's gonna attack first? That one. Okay. Awesome Sepeth, all times 100. You look mighty familiar. Didn't we meet last game? Uh, I very much doubt I was on the uh, the Liber arc in the last game. Oh, these things. I remember fighting these. Oh. Really didn't do that much damage. Del, you need to get more buff. They give some decent, uh, I think it's Mirage. Is gold the Mirage one? Reviving Bomb. Don't flip your lid. Flip mine. EP charge 2. Sorry, but I'm cutting you off. Don't even know how to get a preemptive strike on something like that. You know, these don't have a resistance to the other abilities, so maybe I'm wasting my time with Shadow Spear. You nearly tear the top of the chest off its hinges in your excitement to open it. Your face falls as you realise there's nothing inside. Although Shadow Spear does carry the possibility of doing a one-hit kill, but is it really worth it? Onyx Gem. Oh, I got the surprise attack this time. But considering I wasn't going to get to attack anyway, I might as well get some of my uh, craft points back. 
as you reach into the chest, the lid suddenly snaps down. It's eating you alive. Kidding. Oh, you should have seen the look on your face. So, Onyx Gem, is that like a action five? Where'd it go? Um. Yep, basically an action five. So that one actually has a weakness to it as well. Puts your move speed down. Why do I keep going down like that? Maybe I want to do that, considering I've only got blue spells to use. Oh, someone's reinforcements. That's no fun. Zerum powder. You can save the world, but you can't remember whether you've looted a chest once or not. Yeah, I feel like I've just been directly attacked. Curia bomb. It's empty, but if you put your head in here, you can hear the ocean. That is a targetable one. Oh, I thought they didn't move. These things are all hideous. We attack those, slow them down. And art. Would I attack before they move? No. I guess I, uh, I'll go ahead and use one of my death screens here. about you, what can you do? Summons an enormous pillar of ice. Oh, well, I'd like to see what that is. That's pretty cool. Nice uh, part about them being quite low level is that they uh, get levels pretty quick. And then they uh, get their EP back. Probably level up again soon, anyway. Yeah, looks like the next fight should put him over the edge.
You. Finally. This. Residential block cradle. Whoa. Oh, what a lovely city. I would guess that this is where the ancients actually dwelled. Yes, it does seem like more of a residential area than our crash site is. Yeah, it's kind of nice and homey here, I guess. But you know, this just bothers me even more. Why did the residents abandon such a nice city? This seems like a good place to find an answer to that question. We we'll need to find a new route anyway, so shall we investigate? Yeah, okay. Did you not read the analysis? They're starting to control their brains. Turn them into mindless slaves. Okay, there's an enemy here. Olivier, learn Rec Room Hearts. Oh yeah, I didn't actually uh, look at these new S breaks of theirs to see what they do. Uh, I guess we go inside that building. Oh, there's a console. Cradle, residential terminal, checking ID, no match, unable to confirm ID of terminal owner, your viewable entries are limited. Check new recipes, resurrect jelly. Yes, please. Printing data complete. Wow, it wrote it into the recipe book. I wonder what that, the principle behind that is. You got me. That's some crazy technology. Beginning lookup. Unable to find data. Please check your crystal and try again. So I don't have a crystal for it to read. Resurrect jelly. Whoa, 15,000 heal. Revolutionary new jelly that disappears on the tongue. Dragon beans. Need some pretty crazy ingredients. Can I rest here? Some sepith. Wenn ist das Nostok geht und Slotermeier, ja? Behohun das oder die Flipperwald gesput. I, uh butchered reading that German. I can't translate that. I have no idea why there's German here. <clears throat> uh, when is the something got and something? Yes. Something the something the something goes. I believe. Something along those lines. My German's very rusty. Wow, you're the first human to ever take something from me. I'm so excited. Weird that they would have a German phrase in here, but oh well. Um, I'm kind of hoping for a surprise attack, but oh well, oh well. Ooh, poisoned. That's lovely. That Let's move out. Guess uh, we check this one out next. Oh, this place is like a big, um, uh, what are they called? Planetarium. Oh, lots of ingredients. The looters in Calvert aren't this desperate. The chest wants to know what it's done to deserve such treatment. I don't know why there's so much food. Oh, it's a bar. That makes sense. The chest applauds your dedication to larceny. Well, thank you. Thank you for your patronage. Currently due to system errors, items that can be selected are limited. Beginning lockup. Specified wavelength pattern found. User is authenticated as recorded recipient of a package. Beginning transfer of stored item. Downloading data. Transfer complete. Data crystal Z. That this is a data crystal, right? Seems like it was sent from somewhere. Seems like it responded to something in our possessions. 
we might be able to view the contents if we hand it over to Professor Russell. Oh yeah, so... That was the reason why we didn't want to do anything with the Zamerian Ore, because I think there might be a, the ability to craft with it. Uh, but we wanted to keep it until now. Can I read the crystal? Users authenticated as a cord recipient of the package. Begin transfer stored item. Downloading data. Transfer complete. Zamerian R. This is the same ore as we already have, right? Seems like that crystal from a bit ago got sent from somewhere. Yeah. I don't get how it all works, but it seems like this crystal is the key. Okay, so yeah, we needed to keep the Zamerian ore so we could get that crystal, so that we could get the second Zamerian ore. And that's basically how you get two Zamerian ore. Because otherwise, if you didn't turn in all of those books for the previous Sumerian Ore, um, then you don't get any Sumerian Ore at all in the game. It's either you get two or you get zero. Okay, next place is another building here, it seems. Anything around it other than these enemies? There's a chest right here. With some sepith. Get a silk bag from the graveyard duck to loot longer. Tear old bomb. Empty, but that should come as no surprise. Cradle residential terminal. Bulletin board. Improvements to distribution service and gospel update here at Labour Arc City in order to ensure our citizens lead a pleasant, fulfilled life. We have established a distribution service offering music and images with the theme of healing, which has proven popular with the citizenry, but also with persons experiencing concerns regarding mental and emotional ailments. However, while the service offers a significant selection, it remains somewhat uniform and one-sided as such. We've been receiving a great deal of feedback from the citizenry asking for it to respond to a wide variety of personal tastes. In order to accommodate the, these opinions, our city wishes to proceed with enhancing our service's variety to provide all citizens with a satisfying experience. To that end, we will need to offer an upgrade to all citizens' personal gospels. We ask that you inquire at your local city government office and undergo upgrade procedures there. Furthermore, as this upgrade applies to all citizens, after a period of time, non-upgraded Gospels will become unusable. We understand this may be somewhat problematic, but we sincerely ask for your cooperation. Okay, I'm going to try and pretend I know exactly what was going on there. Joshua, look! I see it. Why the heck is... T... Well, hello there. It's the Bobcat. Don't get any closer, you! I won't let you hurt the Bobcat anymore. No, Kyle, Don, Joshua. Looks like someone's in over their head. 
uh, head girl, and I can always poke a nice big air uh, hole in your head with my staff, you grimy tomboy. Talk later. We have a fight on our hands first. Y yeah. Oh, brother. Alright, I'm guessing I have to basically protect Gisette here at this point. Um, let's see. Earth Guard. Can I put that on Gisette? See if I can keep her alive long enough to actually cast it. Um, evil Eye. Um, see. Try and taunt. Oh, it's a machine. I can't taunt a machine. Will that hit in time? Nope. Anything to slow it down? Not really. Oh, what about you? Can you move fast enough to slow it down? Nope. So I guess we just go for a good old regular attacks. Single attack, blue ascension. to see what this uh, new craft is. Okay, so medium. First, adios become ribbons of light to defeat foes. Okay, so I actually probably want to reset that one because that's like our emergency heal, which is nice to be able to do in the middle of a battle. So after this fight, I will reset that. I hope in one of the future games I actually sees the difference in damage for these moves because it would be nice to know if um, the area of effect attacks do more damage without me having to really go in depth into it. Um, why not? Just because it's a cool looking ability I'm guessing. Plasma Wave! Yeah, I don't think it does that much damage extra. Uh, borrow the spell. We'll both attack it together. Yeah, basically does the exact same amount of damage. I think it just gets the additional uh, abilities as all of the difference it really makes. some decent rewards. Phew. Okay, that's that. Nearly bent my staff on that big one. That was one of the society's heavyweight arcades and weapons. The Lear Guns EZ. It's meant to be used for location defense though, not assault. We can wonder about that later. I'm glad you're safe, Gisette. But what are the Capuas doing here? Yeah, um... After you left, we hid out near the border. But then this weird thing appeared in the sky when we tried checking it out, the bobcat's power cut out. And so you guys created. Though, hang on. Shouldn't your brothers be here? You guys are usually all together. Did they head out to scout or something? My... Bro... My... 
Whoa, whoa, hey, what's wrong? Just set, please calm down. We're here, don't worry. Take your time and tell us what happened. <laughs> Joshua! Joshua! Oh my. Well then. What? Uh, hey! Those creeps took my family. Kyle and Don baited them so I could get away. Joshua! What do I do? Get your hands off him, that's for starters. That's a stealth man. Sorry I lost it. Guess you guys didn't expect that, huh? I think I'm a little calmer now. Eyes on you, Capua. Eyes on. <clears throat> so, Giuseppe, can you tell us what exactly happened? I think so, yeah. So we managed to crash about as gracefully as we could, right? And hey, our augments work now, so we got to work fixing the bobcat. The engine wasn't really damaged, but the rest of the ship was a mess. We were nosing around looking for material to use for repairs. Hmm, so we share in the same fate. It was, um, three days ago now. We'd gotten the materials we needed and were just about to start the real repair work when this octopus-like machine appeared. After I shot it, a red airship showed up. Jaegers came flooding out of it as soon as it landed. Ah, of course, you shot down a Vogel. They used those for scouting and patrols. It alerted the enemy to your location the instant it was destroyed. I knew it. What? What do I do? It's all my fault. Kyle and Don were taken. Just set. Ah. For the- Knock it off with the mopey face. If they got caught, let's go rescue them. What? Even if they are criminals themselves, if they're being held illegally, then they deserve brace of protection. Besides, we have some biscuits to grind with the society anyway. We'll save your brothers while we're at it. Estelle. Uh, hold on a sec. What makes you think we want to be saved by the likes of Braces? Oh, the likes of Braces, huh? So you can save them all by yourself? Nah. Besides, you helped us when we were escaping the Glorious. It's way past time we return the favour. Just uh... Giuseppe, Estelle's right. If you run in on your own, you'll just be caught and you won't help anyone just staying here. You know that, right? Uh, why don't you head to the R cell for the moment? I suspect Kyle and the others are being kept on the Glorious. There's a good chance it's docked to the island somewhere. If we continue to investigate, I suspect we'll find it. We'll tell you when we locate it. I promise. Alright, if you say so, Joshua. I'm not going to just sit around and twiddle my thumbs, though. I'm going to help, too. You want me to tag along? You just say so. I'll even help fix your ship. Yeah, yeah, okay. You can try to impress all you want, but it's still too late, Miss Tomboy. Pish. At least I am impressive. In more ways than one compared to you. What was that? Come on now, really? I don't know what it is with you two, but can't you try to get along? Uh, Joshua? Did he just say that? He just said that. Hmm? You stepped on a landmine, my friend. You utter dunce. Hey, Capua. Choose for the moment, okay? Agreed. We have bigger fish to fry than each other right now. Uh, wait. I'm glad you two are calling a truce, but what bigger fish are you talking about? Did I? Oh no, it's nothing. Now, why would you think a thing like that? Hmm? Okay. Why do their smiles fill me with such terror? Uh, still gonna continue on with these lovely prince and princesses. Right then, let's get back to it. Before she left, Josette said she hadn't found any other ways out. Yes, the bridges to the neighbouring sector seem to have collapsed some time ago. Maybe worth our time to search this district again. We may be able to find a clue of some sort. Roger that. Alrighty then, and I think then that this is where I'm going to call our episode for today. So thank you for watching everybody. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so you know when the next episode is coming out. And feel free to leave a comment on the video and I will see you all on the next one. Bye bye for now.